Hey, what is up people? This is Johnny and today I have two free battles that I would like to show you and this is my trolling type of strategy when I use against certain opponents in ratings or in free battles. Now this strategy will not work all of the time, but it does work sometimes. So the thing is, I have a Hippopotas as a level 16 and what I do is bring out this Pokemon so it can start up the Sandstream. Now the Sandstream lasts about 6 or 5 turns, sometimes even more. It could even last lower. So I just wanted this Pokemon to get defeated so it could have the Sandstream go on. And it got defeated. So I switch into my Aeron and my opponent is getting buffeted by the Sandstorm. So I switch into my Aeron and my Aeron will use a move called Endeavor. But my opponent is going to attack my Aeron first. And with the sturdy ability and a Shell Bell that it's holding, it will endure the hit. And then that's when you use Endeavor. And what Endeavor does is that this Pokemon will allow all the health go down to my opponent. And as you can see, Endeavor, um, it also restores your Shell Bell. So uh, when it restores my full health of my Pokemon, um, then I'll be able to uh, restore my whole health. And then I'll have the sturdy ability again. Now you have to have a level 1 era. And it has to be level 1. And your first Pokemon, it can be at any level, but I recommend having Aeron. I, I recommend having your first Pokemon get defeated so you can switch into your Aeron. Um, and as you can see, Dragonite again, uh, it was buffeted by the Sandstorm. And the Shell Belt helped my Pokemon recover from its injuries, which is Aeron. And now the full health will come back. Now his final Pokemon is Medicham. And... That's pretty much going to be the last hit that he's going to give me because it's going to use Endeavor again. And I like using Endeavor because it's just going to keep bringing down my opponent's Pokemon. Now, I want to mention the way you can get this Pokemon is that you had to breed. You had to breed him with a... You had to get a female Aragonite, I believe. And you had to get a male Swampert with a with Endeavor so you have to get a Swampert that has Endeavor and it has to be the male version and the female can be Aragon and you breed them together at the Pokemon daycare and you should be set to go and then once you get that Aeron you have to give it a Shell Belt and you'll be able to go attack him now one thing I want to mention in this battle not all Pokemon will be affected by this it's like Cerebolai will not be affected by Endeavor and there's some certain Pokemon that do not have a certain effect of what this move has so don't believe that it's going to work every time because it's not. Their Honage is another Pokemon that is very immune to it. So it's a it's a strategy. You use it only when you need it, when you really need it. And if you want to pretty much defeat your opponent's Pokemon, you don't really need to have the Sandstorm. But you know, for example, if a Pokemon that you're going to fight hits you first and you still have that sturdy ability, well, that Pokemon will just use Endeavor and it'll go all the way down in health. So as you can see on my second battle is actually took out a ground he took out a ground on and what I did was do the same thing again with Endeavor and he managed to survive two rounds I believe in this battle um, but it still helped me out to win the battle and I believe I bring out my Latios or Latias I forgot which one I think Latias as my final Pokemon in order to use and um but I still managed to defeat his um his um what's it called his um ground on and the reason why I wasn't able to wasn't able to have the sandstream again because uh, like you said the ground on messed up my whole sandstorm when he brought out that Pokemon it brought out a different type of sky but I managed to avoid an attack which was lucky by Aaron and it managed to avoid that attack so I did not have any problems and then my opponent decided to take out his Kyogre and it brought the Permedial C again which left my Pokemon all the way down but it's since he used Sheer Code it did not affect my Pokemon so I got lucky this time and was able to use Endeavor but then he used his Hydro Pump which allowed my Pokemon to go all the way down but it still had that, uh, that little move but the problem is since I don't have the Sandstorm I didn't know what I could do so I managed to get a little experience point out of it. Now I got only two experience points because I did not take it out completely. And that wouldn't allow me to get more health. So it doesn't work and then my Aaron got defeated. But what this allowed me to do is to switch into my next Pokemon and allow me to de finish off the second two Pokemon that were up. Uh, but I pretty much defeated all the way through Kyogre. But it was a pretty difficult battle, I'm not gonna lie. After after that defeat of Aaron, but Aaron did a pretty good job, but I managed to defeat its 
own Kyogre Pokemon with Psychic and that managed to take it out. And then I believe he had a Rayquaza which he had like three legendary Pokemons. He was going hard but I managed to win this battle. Um, one thing I'd like to mention, yeah you can use this in raiding battles um, because it's legal so you can use it in raiding battles. That's pretty much it. I'm going to let you watch the rest of the gameplay if there's a lot left. And I'd like to give a shout out to my friend PokerMation because he's the one that made this possible to capture this gameplay footage so I could show you. And thanks for watching and I hope you like it. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this battle.